it has become a 3D object and I can position it and even rotate it however I want. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm broadcasting from my little nook again today, here to introduce you to a new exciting creative AI tool. At least I haven't seen it like this before, but I believe that the way of image editing and image creation that I'm showing you today will become a more fundamental part of image editing in the future. That's why we're going to take a look at the tool right now. It's about a new functionality on the Crea AI platform. I made a video about Crea AI a long time ago. I'll definitely link that for you. But now it's all about the new functionality. Because the day before yesterday, this video popped up on X, where you can see that you can now load images into this canvas, then can be transformed into 3D to then use them as a basis for your image editing or for creating canvas images. And I want to show you that now. Here, here we have the real-time canvas. At first, it all looks pretty unremarkable here. I already showed in detail how this canvas works in my first video. Just a quick note, I'm painting here, for example, now I put a circle in and this circle will be used to generate a new image here on the right side. Then I can enter a prompt for this and then a new image will be generated based on my prompt and my configuration down here. A new image is generated and with that I can get results really quickly and still have a lot of influence here. The new feature that's now in here is the following. I'm now recently able to, to add images. Then let's take this women's shoe. And first of all, it might be advisable to apply remove background here with a right click. And you can now freely position it here. As you can see from me, the new magic that's happening here is to convert to 3D via the right click to achieve. And when I select that, you can see up here that it's currently being converted. That really doesn't take long. And just like that, we're done. And now I have a second shoe here. Something quite magical is happening with this um, because Crea has actually managed to create a 3D object from this shoe or rather from the image that I put in here. That means I can easily take this shoe here. I can now rotate, adjust, and scale it however I like. I can also rotate it backwards. And on the right side, the new image is always generated. Now I can, for example, make a white texture as the background. Now is the shoe somehow in the snow? And I can also adjust the prompt here, of course. For example, I can simply do that here. In, in, let's set up a photo studio. If I now adjust the prompt strength here, the image information fades a bit into the background and the AI responds more to the prompt. Then you can already see here, it's becoming more and more like a photo studio. Now I can really have a lot of influence on this. What kind of image I want to generate here? Of course, this doesn't just work with this red shoe. I've already adjusted the prompt here to Lara Croft and I'm just dragging this in, this totally pixelated image in. And if I click here on the right and then convert everything into 3D again, then I have here in no time, a 3D model generated from this pixelated image. Combined with the prompt and the strength, I can quickly get results that are actually worth something. But why should I even use a, a pixelated old Lara Croft when I can just generate one myself with current AIs anyway? I've now used Flux to really generate this one. It's adjusting accordingly here on the right. You see the magic happens when I click here on the right again and say convert to 3D. Up here is the progress bar again. That won't take long. Just take a moment to give me a like here and at best uh, a subscription too. I definitely report regularly on AI tools and always use them with a creative background. Now the 3D model is already finished here. I'll make this a bit bigger so you can see what came out of it. I can also rotate it here accordingly. Reposition, 
Let's make a beach scene out of this. Now we have Lara in a bird's eye view here at the beach. Now I'm going to go ahead and just change the background to something that fits a bit better. And you can really see how quickly this works here, that I can really have an influence on the image design, the composition, and all of this really with this 3D situation, where I can freely rotate the perspective, I mean the model here. There are definitely a lot of new possibilities, but I can also just draw a circle here and let's quickly change the color and now Kreia already recognizes on the spot that it might be a sun action is required and yes I can place it anywhere I want now now I'll add on sunset here and let's place Lara Marco uh, in the center of the image yeah I really created an image quickly which I can now I can go straight back into further processing. Let's make another change, for example, change the color to something blue. And now we have a beautiful full moon scene here, as you can see, or rather, yes, a full moon in there. Here you can also see that the whole thing is now immediately recognized as a moon. Of course, the color scheme of the background is not matching now as it should. You can definitely get as creative as you want with that. Lara Croft on the beat in front of the full moon. So this is basically my image composition here. I made the moon really big. Here again, the magic. I can hold Lara, rotate position scale however I want. Of course, this can also be combined with different styles and techniques. For example, I've applied a different style here. What else is here? Is that some kind of comic drawing? Let's take a look. Yes, exactly. Now you can also choose the drawing style here. For my part, let's also take a look at something totally exotic, like this oil painting representation. And now we suddenly have such a really beautiful painting of the whole thing. And here I can adjust the style again, adjust accordingly. But that's all. Features. This real-time canvas actually already had. So, I am definitely completely thrilled with the possibilities that arise from it again. I don't even know what to do with all these creative approaches the IUS key because currently almost formally offers. I am convinced that traditional image editing by pixel manipulation is ending. It achieves great results quickly with little effort. By pushing pixels back and forth is really coming to an end because with such little effort you can achieve such great results so quickly that are definitely suitable for everything i can imagine are 100 percent suitable if you're into ai and all of that with a creative approach recognizing the creative backgrounds and constantly discovering new things then you're definitely in the right place here in my little hideout with me see you until then I wish you a nice rest of the weekend. Until then, your Marco 